So let's implement this method now. And just go here and press Alt Enter. And create method tail. And I will prefer to return a string here. Okay, so let me wrap it here as well. So it should return a string. And this string, we can uh, just print it out here first. I'll just use here. Okay. Now let's implement this tail method. Let's remove this. And uh, first of all, I need to read this file, right? So what I will do is I will create a final war file pointer. And I will use a random access file, random access file from java.io. And I will pass this file name, which you have passed it for the for tailing and use the read mode. Okay. And I will be using private resources and uh, it should throw IO exception. So let me throw it Alt enter. And uh, I can add it here or maybe just add it to the IO exception. Okay. So this one related problem, I can uh, pass it back to the test case. So I just click it here and Alt Enter and Exception. Okay. So now let's go here again, and now let's implement. Okay. So final. First of all, I will take the whole size of this file because I have to go to that last, and then look for the those tail lines that I have to append. So there's a very useful method here in random access file with this length. So once I have got this whole file size, I will see to the end. So file pointer dot seek. So here we are going to the last to the to the last of the file. So both seek and uh, length are the very useful methods available in random access file. Now let's see that how much, how long that we need, how many lines we want. So I will just use a count here. Start with zero. And uh, I will use a string builder to keep on appending the line that we want to return. So last n lines, n is the tail, the second parameter for which we want to. So for example, it can be tail minus two, three. So this is the number of lines for that. And I will use a string builder. Just have a mutable string so that we can keep on appending the lines. Now here comes the main part. So we have to read file in reverse and look for line separator. Now this line separator can be backslash n in uh, Windows, and it can be uh, backslash r backslash n for mac os or linux so we have to take care of that and for that we have got system dot lines separator which will take care of that so here i will use a for loop now so from the last i will just take long i is equal to file size minus one i start from the last the file size is this one and until i is not equal to minus one I'll do I minus minus. And again, I will move file pointer to seek to I. I think we are already doing this here. So I'm just using it again. Maybe we can remove that. Let me see uh, if I can remove this because here we are already going to the last file size minus I and then we are moving our pointer, file pointer to seek, I mean, to move to this last, to the, to add, uh, to, towards that point. And uh, let me read the byte. Now this byte is important because this read byte will be taken care of whether it's a line separator or not. If it's not a line separator, I mean, line separator means this, then it will uh, keep on appending this byte to the to the last n lines. Otherwise, whenever we encounter one, then I will, it means that the, that one line is completed. So let's implement it now immediately. So final, I will just use char c is equal to, I'll just change this byte into a char 
and this care i will check whether it's a line separator so if c equal to equal to backslash n or you use system dot line separator let me go down a little bit make some space okay now line separator dot equals string dot value of i will just use value of for care because we have got it as care and now here it means that we have encountered a uh, a line separator right let me also make it those want to be like clear so here we are checking whether it's this character that the, the byte that we have read that whether it's a line uh, system not line separator or not if it is then it means that we have we have to increase our line count so we have completed one line and uh, if this new line count is if this new line count is greater than number of lines that we want to pass the number of lines is this tail the second parameter that we have passed so if we have already uh, completed this number of lines then it means that we have already captured all those uh, tail logs tail lines and then we can break here from this loop from this for loop okay and if it's not then uh, it means that we have we have to still append it to our string builder so i will keep on appending this character and once this is all done it means that we are out of this for loop and we have done everything it means that we have already broke out of from this after completing the number of lines after this we need to reverse it need to reverse it because we want because right now we are appending in the in the in the non decreasing order for example here if you go so we are just going through the we are starting from here say and we are going going back 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 and then from here once we have read it in the, in the reverse then we have to uh, we have to again while printing it back we have to reverse it again so that it comes in in this format from starting from the to the to the to the end so this is why we have to reverse it here and then once we have done this then we have to return uh, in form of string because it's a string builder so now guys let's revise what we have done so far so we started with this tail first of all we have created this random access file uh, object and we are uh, using the read mode for this the file name that we have passed and in the random access file we first of all we check the whole size of the file by using this length method we store it here and then there is a file pointer that we are using so that file pointer we have see to the end of the file by using this file size minus minus 1 because it always starts from zero so this is file size is exclusive so that's why we have to for reaching to the end we have to use minus 1 and now the most important part is that how do we read this file so for that what we have done is we start with only like the count the count parameter for the lines because the second parameter of the tail is uh, the number of lines that we want to take from the end and display it right so we have to count it uh, by using counter from by from starting from zero and reach to that number of lines so this is what we are doing using this counter and uh, i'm using long here because file can be very very huge uh, this is just like uh, avoiding any but i think integer should also work but just in this case i have used uh, long and this is last and lines which is a string builder where i will be uh, appending all those uh, characters or the lines Uh, which we want to uh, res uh, return back uh, for this trail command, and uh, because I use string builder because I want to be mutable string that can just keep on appending it. And the next, and this is the most important loop where we are doing all the stuff. So we again we start with uh, the file size minus one, and uh, until we reach minus one, this is the, the condition that if we have got uh, the tail is greater than uh, the the actual file content number of lines. In that case, it will also return return uh, fast. Uh, if it reaches uh, to the end of the file or uh, it be showing as minus 1 this is the uh, our ultimate condition but al always the file should be larger than the, uh, than the tail uh, parameter that we have passed so this should never happen it should uh, actually break it from here and it, so nevertheless so 
what we are doing here is that uh, we again go back to the end and then we read byte by byte and once we read byte by byte uh, what we do is that we first of all we convert it back care because we need this care uh, to check for the line separator so this is the thing that we actually uh, we are we, when when it goes inside this loop it means that we have completed one line by using this line separator if this separator is equal to this byte then in that case we increase this line count here and if this line line count is greater than the tail command per, uh, argument of number of lines then we'll break otherwise if it's not there then it means that it's actually uh, the the correct character that we have to append and we keep on appending it here so this loop will keep on going until this condition holds and uh, it, once it's break out of this it means that we have already appended all those lines that were asked in the tail command and finally we reverse it and then reverse it in the form of string because we ex uh, actually want the string as a return parameter so being said that let's see the test results so i will remove this i don't need to print this tail and because we are using a sort of like parameterized test where we will be sending uh, several parameters of 2 3 and 5 so let me also create a uh, indicator that here something like this give a black slash n as well okay so here we expect that for this 2 3 and 5 so for example first of all it will run for 2 it means that it will print for this amendments.txt it will print last two lines here like this for 3 it should print the last three lines and so on for a five it should print from here till here so this is our expectation uh, and here as we have mentioned that here we should be having the num uh, that system dot line separator here after this off and 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 all this is what we have been taken care of in our implementation so enough of the talks now let's uh, run this run this unit test now so let me click on this run button now okay so it's running so it should run it three times as we have seen that it is done for three times so first of all it for like a little bit space here okay so the first argument was file number with number of lines as two so we can see that there are two lines created here so this is exactly same as this this two lines that has been printed here similarly for three lines it's three lines and for five lines, it's five lines, it's three, and this one blank, on uh, blank line, and this fifth line. So this is working as expected. So now, uh, once we have implemented this, this was the first part of the problem, where we have implemented on a static file. Now for the next part, which is the follow-up, which is slightly tricky, which is to implement the tail method for a running log file, which is appended in real time. So the next video, Let's solve this follow-up problem where we will be doing uh, working this tail method on the running log five. So see you all in the next video.